Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to take a look at these LEDs. These are half watt cool white. They also come in warm white. 8 millimeter type LEDs. They're 8 millimeters because that is the diameter of the body. Not including the flange at the bottom, just the body. They also call them a straw hat type because they're kind of short. They resemble a straw hat. And they do that because it has a wide angle distribution of light. And here is a comparison to a standard 5 millimeter LED. And as you can see, it has thicker leads. And that's because, you know, it's a half a watt. It's going to draw more current and produce more heat. So they have the thicker leads that help bring heat out of the body of the LED to keep it cool. I'll put a link into the seller, though they are several sellers on eBay. Here is a top view. The camera would focus. There you go. As you can see as I turn that, it has a wide distribution of light. And I'll power it up momentarily came in a packet of 50 I believe yeah I'm pretty sure it was 50 for six dollars and change I thought these would be interesting LEDs to try out because they are easy to use because they're through hole components the lens is built in so it makes them quite easy to use okay I have one on this board here turn off the lights I'm not using a resistor with this because I have the power supply that has current limit. So um, I'm going to set this for fine current adjust. And I can adjust by 10 milliamp increments. Now they do sell this supply with an even finer adjustment, I believe. They have a more accurate version of the supply, but... Uh, I don't need that for what I do, so I didn't vouch for that. Anyway, um, turn the output on. And there's the LED glowing at 10 milliamps. Now, being half a watt, and it's going to have around 3.1 3 or so volts across the LED. So, to be half a watt, it would require about 150 milliamps so I will turn that up turn the current up to 150 so there it is at 150 and it is pretty bright nice wide angle bright light the camera white balance will adjust it but it is a fairly cool white. It's not like the early Chinese LEDs, the cheap ones that had a bluish or even purplish light to it. It's just a cool white light. Well, here is the problem. I've been testing these LEDs at 150 milliamps for a little over two days. It's been like 56 hours. And I notice they're getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Are they running too hot? No. I can put my finger on there, okay. They're, they're not overheating or anything. They don't feel really hot. They're just losing brightness. And that's a problem I have with these cheap LEDs. They just, they don't hold up. Let me see if I can make a comparison to a new one versus these two that have been running for about 54 hours. Okay, I separated the LEDs. I like that one song, you gotta keep them separated. That way I can point them at the wall and you can see the difference better. But they're in series, so they're getting the exact same current. This is the new one. This is the one that's been running for 54 or whatever hours. So fire them up and point them at the wall here so you can see hopefully what's going on. 
at the cameras. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see how much brighter the one on the right is. And it's about twice as bright. The one lost about half of its output. And it's also turning a purplish color as well. Yeah, I mean, you can't run the LED for you know just a few hours and it's already losing brightness. It's just rubbish, complete junk. Okay, I put the LEDs together. And if you look at the yellow area, that's where the phosphor is coating the LED, the actual chip itself. This is the new one. It looks nice and uniform. And this one, you can start to see a brownish area in the center. Let me see if I can put this magnifying lens over and get in real close. I can't have to make an adjustment here so you can see clearly. There you go. That's the new one. Nice and uniform. Looks like there's a little scratch on the dome, but that's no big deal. And look here. The one that's been under test is starting to discolor over the LED die. And notice the shape of that. It's a rectangle. And it looks to me like they are using a higher power LED in there, the, the chip. I would say that that is probably a half a watt chip in there but it is discoloring. What is actually discoloring? It might be the epoxy they use, or it could be the phosphors. I know some people found that the epoxy did turn brownish near the high intensity light area if they didn't use a high quality epoxy, so that could be the problem. I have this big bag of LEDs I've tested over the years, thousands of them. People send them in from around the world, most of them I've purchased on eBay or other sources. And you know, I just find the same conclusion with these cheap LEDs. They, they do not last. They're just junk. That's six bucks and change down the toilet. But at least I'm spreading the word. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks for watching.